Today I have a quick tip for you on how to make it easier to position your stamps and your dies so that they match up when you cut them out. So I'm bringing in my Stamparatus and I have the negative of a die that I've cut out and I'm just going to position that and I always use this corner on my Stamparatus so I don't mark it but you can certainly mark where you want to position because this is great for doing multiples of course. First we're our stamp. So all I'm going to do is place the stamp so that it is within that cutout and it's not moving so I know it is correctly positioned. I'm going to pick it up with my Stamparatus plate, put in the die cut that I already cut out, and it will just sit in there so I don't need to do anything to hold it on because especially since the whole surface is going to be stamped, but it will sit right in that little opening. And I'm bringing in some ink, we'll ink up the stamp. and then stamp it. And I can see I missed a few spots, so that is the beauty of the Stamparatus too. I can ink again and make sure I get good coverage. And I know it will stamp in the same spot. And it is all within the lines of the die cut, which is just what I want. So I'm gonna take my Take Your Pick tool and pull it out. And as you can see, it's stamped within the lines of the die cut. So now all I have to do is color it and use it on my project. Okay, now let me show you how to do it with a punch that we have punched out and we want to punch and get an exact match with the outline of the stamp. But also I'm gonna show you how to do this with when you can layer stamps. So I'm using photopolymer stamps this time. So I need to add my little insert, my little pad that helps with photopolymer. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put it in the same spot here, the same corner. And let me show you what I mean. I'm using the Sweet Strawberry Punch and Stamp set. And you can do a two-step stamp with the outline and some detail of the strawberry and the filler. So, the first thing we're going to do is place the outline. And it's photopolymer, so it's easy to see. And we're going to place it so that is it's within the borders of where it's cut out. And we're going to pick that up with one plate. And you can either turn this plate over and put the other strawberry, whoops, or we can use the other plate. So now I've got the filler stamp and we'll place that. Pick it up with the other plate. And I'm gonna bring in my die cut. and some memento black ink. We will ink up the outline and stamp that. Beautiful. And then we're gonna bring in the real red for the filler and stamp that. And there we have it, the outline, and it's all lined up. So we can do multiples. It makes it much easier to do multiples. You can quickly stamp multiple strawberries and you know that the positioning of the stamps are going to be right where you want them. Same works, you can do all four of the stamps. Uh, the leaves have outline and detail stamps as well. And the flowers and this leaf are there's just one stamp, but it just makes it easier to do multiples and know that your stamp is going to end up right where you positioned it. So I hope these tips have helped. Thank you for watching today. Give me some love in the comments if you appreciated my tip and I will see you again soon. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.